Hey guys, welcome back. This is Mike at MX Tutorials and today I'm going to address a subscriber request that I got regarding how to create cosmic gravity or let's say space gravity or technically speaking the lack of gravity. Okay, so in essence, how can you have objects float in space? That's kind of the deal. Now, my apologies for my voice. I'm, uh, I got a little bit of a cold, but hopefully you can uh, understand me okay. So what I did is I just created a simple object here that we can use as our space corridor, okay? And we're gonna just uh, drag this thing, edit, delete by type history, so we've got a clean scene, okay? And we're just gonna create a simple object, let's say a cube. And we're gonna pull that in, like so. All right. Now, just move that in a bit okay so if we have a regular gravity situation like on earth what will happen would be this we're just gonna select this guy go to dynamics soft rigid bodies create a, a passive rigid body for the hull here don't mind that that's it we'll take our object and we'll create an active rigid body okay and then with this selected we're gonna go to fields Gravity, hit the option box, edit, reset settings. Here's your magnitude of 9.8, which is standard on Earth, and hit create. So with all these frames set up, make sure you got a couple hundred at least. We're going to hit play and see what happens. And what I'll actually do is I'll give this thing some color so we can see it a bit better. Right click, assign new material, Lambert, let's say blue. Okay, let's hit play this thing is going to fall down and bounce and falling through the cracks, but that doesn't matter. What we're looking at here is this effect. All right, cool. Okay, so that is a normal situation on Earth, all right? Now, in space, you would think that there is zero gravity. Well, it's close to zero. It's a very technical uh, story related to the speed of the spacecraft and so forth, but let's for argument's sake say that there's no gravity, okay? Now what does that mean? That means that if this object didn't have any speed or movement or anything like that, this would be the situation in space. Your object would just be hanging there, completely motionless, not moving at all. Now that's not really appealing, is it? Um, what you usually see in movies and so forth is that some astronaut is uh, throwing an object or moving an object and you see that floating through space. And that's what we're going for, okay? Um, what's important is that the speed that you add to the object will remain constant in theory. So if you would move um, an object half a mile an hour, it would continue to move half, an hour, half a mile an hour forever theoretically. If it runs into a wall and it bounces off, it's going to bounce in the other direction with the same speed. All right. Now, just to give this uh, a little bit more lifelike effect, what we're going to do is we're not going to set it to zero, but close to zero. So we've got our object selected. We're going to go to Window, Outliner, and here's our gravity field. Okay. And this will give us these settings here. Now, if we look at our magnitude here, it's 9.8. Let's bring that way down. Let's say one, and it's still too high, but just to illustrate. Okay. And now we're gonna hit play. And as you can see, it's bouncing and it's falling back up, but still it's too fast. So we're gonna bring that down even more. Let's say 0 0.05. Now let's do that again. Now that's more like it. It's starting to react to um, the lower gravity. And what's cool is you see that bounce effect and it's bouncing way back up, which is pretty cool. Okay, go back to frame one. Now, just to give this a little bit more appeal, we're gonna hit E and we're gonna rotate this thing a little bit just in an off angle, 
I'll just hit play once more. So already you got this uh, kind of cool space effect, if you will. You see? Cool. Now, <coughs> still too much gravity going on. Back to our start frame. Okay. Let's get our uh, gravity. So outliner. There we go. Let's go to 0 0.025. Now that's that would probably work. Okay, let's hit play again. And as you can see, it takes a while. And there we go. This is starting to look a lot like what you would see in space. And you could probably even bring it down a bit more. But this looks pretty cool. And you've got that whole bounce effect going on, which is nice, right? Now, there's one problem with this. This object is falling straight down. That looks way too much like what happens uh, on the planet Earth, okay? So we can treat that by looking at this here. you got your X, Y, and Z. Right now, your gravity pull is uh, negative one on uh, your Y axis. Let's have this thing float, let's say, to the left, okay? We're gonna change this value to zero and we're going to change this value to minus 1. So what happens now is our object is going to fall sideways. Okay, here we go. We'll give it a sec. And there we go. Now, that's pretty lifelike, isn't it? Okay. Now, what's really cool is you can have objects collide with each other. <coughs> so let's try that. We're just going to take this guy here, object mode. Come on. <laughs> I hate it when that happens. There we go. We're going to hit Control D to duplicate. <coughs> okay. And we're going to hit W. We're going to move that over. And we're going to rotate that guy a little bit just for the effect. Right click, assign new material. Let's make that a different color. Let's say red. Okay. And theoretically speaking, we should have a gravity field on that. Let's see if that's the case. I'll add one for sure. Field, Gravity, Option Box, Edit, Reset Settings, and Create. So that is our uh, other gravity field. Uh, let's see, Window, Outliner. Okay, so I got Gravity 2 and Gravity 1. That one is 0 0.025, and that one is higher. Okay, so we're going to do 0 0.025 as well. And in this case, we're going to set that not to negative 1, but to 1. So what, what happened is the red one wants to go to the right, the blue one wants to go to the left. Okay, and just for the effect, we'll take this guy. Come on, there we go. And we're going to pull that one a bit over here. So let's see what happens here. Okay. So that's our scene. We're at frame one. Let's hit play. And there we go. Both our objects are starting to move. It looks like my red one is not moving, but we'll fix that in a sec. Oh, I know what's happened. Yeah. That's the problem. I need to take that and create an active rigid body. Uh, let me see. That should work. Just give me one sec, guys. Windows Outliner. I got Gravity Field negative one. I got one. That should work. Let's try that again. Mm, 
blue one is responding okay. So what I'm going to do, instead of figuring out what's going on, I'm just going to create a new cube, probably related to the history of the object or something like that. And it's, I just want to explain the effect, okay? So I'll take this guy in until it's about at the same height there. Just want to show you guys how that looks when it collides, okay? We'll rotate it a bit, something like that. Uh, give it some color, assign the material, Lambert, and red, there we go. Go to create active rigid body, which is fine. Create a field gravity option box, edit reset settings, that's fine create. Now we're going to select that object, window outliner. So I got, that's my blue one. Oh, there we go. <laughs> okay. 0 0.025 and let's make this one. This should work guys. Okay, let's give it a go. Um, frame one and hit play and there we go they're both moving just need to change the direction on that one uh, one ah, okay that is zero and that is one I apologize Let's see if this will work. Yeah, there we go. And uh, hopefully they will collide. There we go. That's what I was going for. Now that's pretty cool, isn't it? And that's the closest that I can get to a uh, gravity simulation deal all right now if you want to really animate this movement then it's no longer a simulation it's an animation and in that case what you do is you just select an object keyframe its position move it to the situation where you want it keyframe it again and then you're pretty much moving it around like you would, let's say, a car or something like that, and you would have a, a very, very low speed. That's all there's to it. So hopefully this uh, answers the question that I got from uh, Boris in this case. Thank you for giving me that question. Uh, hopefully you guys liked the tutorial. Thank you guys for watching, and see you guys next time.